This one you are carrying your hands on your head. Why won't you be tired? Let me do your best. Mama, you are cheating, sir. Cheating, sir. What is it? Nothing, Papa. What, what, what do you mean nothing? Please don't find out. Nothing. Nothing. Go and find out. Oh. What is it? Eh? Oh. Chidas, chidas, what is it? Eh? I said nothing, nothing. What do you mean nothing and you're here? Nothing is wrong. But just came home and announced that you're saying nothing wrong. Papa, please, I need, I need to rest because there's, there's no What is the problem? Chidas, talk to your mother. Why, why, why are you doing? What is your problem? Eh? And they must be wrong with my daughter. Oh, she said something. Nothing. She didn't say anything. Are you serious? I'm telling you the whole truth. She didn't hey. say anything. Let it not be what my man is telling me. I just watch. They travel to Abuja of Fanti Farmer's wedding. Oh, it is true. We would have called them now before coming back home. Uncle oh, Joe, how many times have I told you that the school management do not permit students to use mobile phone in school? Ah, uh -uh, Uncle Joe. Oh, but I'm sorry, I forgot. So I'll be alone in this big house. Why are you talking like that? Hey, can I tell you the house is there to help you? Prepare all your needs, anything you want. Okay? Who is talking about food? I'm talking about to chat and you're talking about food. I come, come. See what will happen there. I will keep on calling your dad now so that you can have okay? Okay, oh, Mr. You're welcome, man. Eh? Okay. Mommy. I don't know. Dad, you're looking cheerful. Hope all is well. Yes, there's no problem. So where is mommy? I said I don't know. Daddy, where is mommy? Daddy, where is mommy now? Daddy. Daddy. What? I said where is mommy? Uh -huh. 
Listen, you better take this phone, call her yourself and find out where she is. I'm tired of your questions. Take it. Uncle Joe told me that both of you traveled to Abuja this morning. Or do you have any misunderstanding on the road? Why would mommy leave without telling where she was going to? What happened? Listen, my daughter, I gave you the phone. Call your mom on the phone and ask her where she is. And if you're not going to ask her, don't ask me anything about her again. Do I make myself clear? Can I have my phone? You can keep it for all I can. God, this is strange. Huh. Oh. Please, how long will you continue like this? I am your mother. Tell me what the problem is. Let me tell you. Do you know there is nothing that this ear will hear that will make it go deaf? And there is nothing that these are eyes we see that will make it shed blood. There is absolutely nothing on this planet Earth that is new. Things have been happening. Tell us what the problem is, at least your parents, me, your mother, so that we will know how to handle it. Mama, please. Why? There's no problem. Why do you feel as if there's a problem? There is a problem. There is a problem. How can you come back to your father's house unannounced? You didn't tell anybody that you are coming home. Give you the boom. There is problem. This is not my father's house. Huh. It's your father's house. But you are married. And, and, and a married woman should be in her husband's house, not in her father's house. Please. I am very exhausted. And I need time alone. Can you just let me be? Hey! Ekwensu! Ekwensu ira abokwa aka o! Ira abokwa aka ekwensu! Hey! Want to pick it. Hey. It's my phone now. Oh, she's not picking this call. Ah, uh -uh. hey. it, it has stopped. It has caught. Hmm. Eh? This is getting it's getting out of hand. 
there's nothing getting out of hand. It's my phone. Mm. Must I pick every call that comes to my phone? I mustn't. You still looking again? Pick this call and know who is calling you. Or your mother will pick it for you now. Pick the call. Pick it and know who is that. Mama, please leave the phone. It is like it's the husband though. Uh -huh. Oh, what's all this now? Mom, please pick this call. Hey. I don't want to pick the call. Is it by force? Hey! Hey! Uh, the phone ringing is not my, it's not your own. Is it your own number? Oh, is it your own number? Leave my phone now. Hey, hey, shut up your mouth. No, 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 Look at, look, look, look at your mouth. Hey. Oh, oh, no, fuck it, you're Don't worry, Stop. let's go inside. Lift us, lift us. Don't worry, my dog. Don't worry, lift us. I come inside. Oh, What is going on? Honey, but you have my phone. Why don't you call her? I've been calling her, but she's not picking her call. There's nothing wrong with your mom. She's okay. What happened? Honey, like I said, there is nothing wrong with her. She's just fighting some battle. She's always going through some battle. Like I said, maybe when you get older, you get to understand what I mean. That there's a time in life, either a woman or a man will get to, and they will go through things like this. What about her? Honey, it's okay. All you just have to know that your mom will get better. I want you to go back and sleep, okay? You still love daddy? Yes. Daddy loves you so much, okay? Can I have my phone now? You have a good night, okay? Imagine your brother. Who is going to lead you on the procession and hand you over to the priest? I don't know. I've been calling him since. I called him yesterday morning. He told me they were already on their way to Abuja. They're supposed to be in Abuja by now. Eh? And I've been calling, but none of them is even picking up the call. Honey, listen, then listen. Let's call someone else, okay? Let's call anybody. The important thing is that someone will lead you on the procession and hand you over to the priest. That's just the important thing. For this wedding, it must go on. Let me try the make No, 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 honey, listen. Oh, come on, baby. Listen, honey. No. Stop calling them. Listen. Look at me very well. You know I love you so much. Do you believe I love you? Do you believe I love you? Hmm? Do you believe? 
come on, if you believe a laugh for me. I said laugh. I, I, say, I didn't say you should mumble, laugh. <laughs> come on. Now listen. Let's go. After the wedding, we'll find out if something has happened to them, okay? Lucy, please I can't. Meaning? Mm. That gave me an instruction. She said I did not open this gate for you. Why now? Why did my dad do such a thing? So don't you made up your mind to go back to school? Uncle Joe, please, you really have to help me here. Come. I don't know what came up between my dad and my mom. My mom, she's not in this house. And I'm aware that my grandmother, she's not very affordable. So, in this situation now, what do you want me to do? I want to go to the village to go and see my grandma. She's the only person that can help me out here. And my daddy has refused to tell me the whereabouts of my mother. And my mother, she's not picking her calls. You want to travel all the way to the village? Yes. Lucy, you know the kind of person your dad is. I know. I don't want his trouble. Okay. Again, please. Okay. Promise me you will come back on time. I promise I will come back on time. Lucy, promise me you will come back on time. I promise I will come back. Okay, good day. Ha. Are you hungry? Yes. Grandma will be so happy to see you. Where is she? She's at the back here. Okay, let me go and catch up with her. Let's go. Grandma! Mama! Grandma! My voice again, it's me, Lucy. Oh, oh, oh Lucy, Wamo. Mm. Oh, sorry, my daughter, I will not ask you again. How are you, Mama? I'm not fine. No. You're it's not me. fine. What is the problem, my daughter? Eh? I sit down. Uh, Chibike, Chibike, Butoche. What kind of childish talk is this? Eh? There is no reason, she has no reason whatsoever to leave her husband's house. There is a stage a woman will stay with her husband. It becomes impossible for her to go back to her father's house. I wonder, at my mom's age, she still had to leave her husband's house. Huh. What is she doing in the village? Eh? An old woman like me, I find it difficult to stay in the village. What makes her think she will survive in that village? Ask me. Okay, call her on your phone now. Call her now. Mama, hmm? she's not picking her calls. She's not picking her calls? Yes. 
You called your own mother and she is not picking her calls? Yes. Hey! Okay. You will call her with my own. Because I'm sure when she sees my number, she must pick it. Um, JBK! Mama? Uh -huh. Get me my phone. You're sure you called her and she's not picking you? Oh. Yes, Mama. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Rama, she's not picking her call. I told you. She's not picking even my own. Yes. What did you say? Call her back again. Okay, Mama. If she refuses to pick, call her. Keep calling her until she picks it. Okay, Mama. I'll get laughing. Martins. Yes, Mama. Where is your wife? Did Lucy call you? I never trained you to answer my question with a question. Where is your wife? Mama, I don't know, but you have her number now. Call her so that you can inquire from her. Can you hear yourself? You don't know where your wife is. A woman you have spent years with. The mother of your children. Martins, you're telling me you don't know where she is. Yes, because she left. There is no way she will just leave. Mpala, you sent her out. Mama, I never did. I never sent her out. If you never did, that means you know why she left. Oh, yes. Anyway, I didn't invite you here to start asking you what transpired between two of you? No. Husband and wives are meant to quarrel and settle at all times. I am just giving you an order. I want you to go and bring back that woman to your house before the breaking of a new day. Am I understood? In an even the who? Oh, come on, honey, stop. Nothing has happened to them, okay? If something has happened to them, your people would have alerted you before now. Let me ask you, did anybody from your family call you? You switched off my phone throughout today, so tell me. Tell me how they would have gotten to me. Hello? Brother? Hey, thank God. Thank God nothing has happened to you. I know you thought I'm dead. I didn't see you and your wife again. And you were not picking up your calls. Yes, um, we had a little arm robbery attack on the way. Jesus, arm robbers? Yeah, but it's not, it's nothing. They just took a few things and um, left. Nobody was harmed, at least, we thank God. <gasps> thank God. How is your wife? Hope she's okay. Uh, she will be, yes. She, she... Oh, thank God. Is she there with you? I would like to speak with her. Uh, why don't you call her on her phone later on? I'm sure you'll be able to talk to her. Okay, no problem. Uh, and uh, how did the wedding go? I hope fine. Yes, but your absence was greatly felt. I know, I know. But don't worry. You know what your brother can do. Anytime I see you, I'll make it up to you. Better than any other thing, yeah? Or any other person that was there. Yes, I trust you. I know what my brother can do. My regards to your wife. 
she will hear. And please do take care of your husband for me, huh? And greet him. Good night. All right, bye. What, what happened? I told you. They were attacked by armed robbers on their way. Jesus Christ. I hope nothing happened to them. <laughs> You've heard from your brother and they are okay now, right? Mm -hmm. hmm? You know, today is our day. Give me your phone. I didn't marry you and wed you to come here and sit down and watch you. Hmm? Doing this to us. I, I hear you've not eaten all day. Why? How can I eat my food? Well, I don't know the whereabouts of my mother. Where have you taken my mother to? I thought we have resolved this issue before. Why well, won't you resolve anything? See, my daughter, I am positive that your mom is good wherever she is. The only thing is, she's going through a battle. And that battle is a battle of the mind. That battle of mind is what I want to know. That battle must be a very serious battle that made her not to pick my call. Even grandma's call, what is that battle of mind? I wish I had words to be able to explain it to you the way you will understand it. I would have done that since. But it shows a battle of the mind is for matured mind. They are for adults, not for children. So I, I want you to relax that with time you get to understand it. Just go and eat your food, okay, please? I said I don't want to eat I thought I asked you to get dressed that I'll drop you off at school on my way to work. I'm not going anywhere. Why? Because my mother, she's missing. Who told you your mother is missing? I saw that she's missing. Since I came to this house, I haven't seen my mother. And if you didn't tell me the whereabouts of my mother, I will go straight to my brother's school to go and inform him about what is happening in this house. And by the time we stay with you in this house for a whole week, then you'll be forced to provide our mother. Listen, I don't know where your mother is. I did not ask her to leave this house. Uh, anyway, let me tell you something, my daughter. Nobody pushes me around. I work hard to make sure that you people are comfortable. That doesn't mean that I can be pushed around by anybody. Nobody tells me what to do. If you don't want to go to school, no problem. Sit down at home, waste your life, but at the end of the day, you'll regret it. I'm going to work, have a great day. Uh, my son, uh, Papa, the reason I called you here is to let you know that uh, when a situation like this arrives, you are the next person I will call. Your sister Chilas had came back from the city yesterday. And from that time to now, she has refused to talk to anybody. We did all we could, I and your mother, but she couldn't talk. <laughs> Maybe she just visited. Eh? It's not bad now. Just visited, mm -hmm. without a car, anything, just visited. And when I asked her as her mother, when is she going back? She said, she doesn't know for now. She doesn't know for now, meaning? Are you asking me? Uh, 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 look, I am seriously suspecting that she's having a problem with her husband. Mm. Uh, okay. Because the man called her to that last night, but she couldn't pick her call. She refused to pick that she call. She refused. Even though we tried to force her to, but she refused. It's okay. There's no problem, Mama. I'll go and see her. 
I will find out, find out the problem. Maybe she will open up for you. Take it easy. Da, please. Huh? Maybe she will open up for her brother. I doubt. Hey. Oh, come on. Chinasa. You know it's only both of us that our parents have. Hmm? If you hide anything from anyone, you can't hide it from me. Now tell me, what is the problem? Okay, Chu. The best advice I can give to you now is for you to forget about me. Enter your car, drive back to Onicha and face your business. And let me carry my cross myself. You can't tell me that. As I said, you can't tell me that. How can I allow you to bear such cross when you know that it will only bring nothing but disgrace to our family? Tell me the truth. Did you kill anybody? Eh? Or did you sleep with another man? Tell me exactly what happened. If you ask me from now till eternity, I will not open my mouth to say anything to you. You will not hear anything from me. So leave me alone. What is all this, Chinasa? Eh? How can you run from your husband's house to this place and you are here talking rubbish? Mm. You better start going back home. You heard me, right? You better go back now. Oh! You want to push me out? You want to push me out? Okay, no problem. I've forgotten that you are the one that built this house. Come and push me, let me see. Push me out, let me see. You will see me in action at the right time. Bye. What nonsense? Not in this house. It will not happen in this house. Has she finally spoken? She didn't tell me anything. Huh? She refused to tell me the truth. I'm going down to the city to see her husband right away. Let me find out the problem. Good idea. But you're not going. If you go alone, it will be a casual visit. But if you go in the company of somebody, it will look more serious. Huh? Uh, let me tell my brother as we get to accompany you. Oh, 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 oh. Let us not involve an, an outsider here. Let him go first. Mm -hmm. Let him go for a while. As you can tell me, he's not an outsider. He's my brother. My blood brother. Papa, mm -hmm. I think Mama has a point here. Mm -hmm. Let's leave Azubike. Mm -hmm. Let me go first. Eh? Then when we return, if there is any issue, we can involve the king's men. But for now, let me go. Eh? Okay, let's see. Now, okay. I will then go with you. Eh? Yes. Then go and get ready. You are going now. Hey! Chinasa! Chinasa! Daddy, guess who is there? Uncle Ken and Grandpa, they say I should call you. 
tell them I don't want to see anybody. Daddy! What? I'm waiting for you downstairs. I said I don't want to see anybody. They came all the way from the village. Please, you have to come and see them. Daddy, please, let's go. So if I go down now, you'll be happy, is that it? Yes. Okay, thank you, Daddy. Okay, Chuko. Sir. How is business? Business is booming fine, sir. Good. Um, Ekaite. Ekaite. Yes, okay. We have visitors. Find out for them and answer. Okay, okay. Now, what do I go bring for you? Uh, it's okay. Never mind. Don't mind. Meanwhile, thank you. Okay, sir. Mm, thank you, my in-law. You see, I would say that uh, that a toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. It's either it's after something or something is after it. My law, I was in my house yesterday when my daughter came home. She returned in an unusual and ungodly manner. And uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was not satisfied with such an approach to coming home. I had to send for my son. I'm gonna decide to come and ask you what the problem is. <clears throat> my in-law, you're welcome once again. But uh, I think this visit is totally out of place. Reason. You left your house in the village, traveled that distance to the city to inquire from me while your daughter, who you confirmed is in your house, came back home. I expected that the right thing to do was to ask from her why she came back home. And my law, we have bought... Uh, wait. You see, my... In law, that is no way would have been so stupid not to have asked her before coming to you. But we asked her and she said nothing. I did my best. My wife tried. I sent for the young, the, the younger brother Kechuku. He came home and tried, but to not have her. She refused to talk. Then I considered it failure on my part if an elder like me will stay at home and watch. The she goat deliver in his theater. Eh? We then decided to come and see you. So that you tell us what actually happened. Yes. But like I said before. I do not know where your daughter is. It was through you now that it got to my notice that she's in your house. I didn't send her anywhere. So I'm in no position to say why she left the house. Because I, I don't know. Wait. What is? Do you mean you were not the one that sent her back to me? Well, my in law, I have said as much as I understand about this issue. I don't know about your daughter's whereabouts. I did not send her anywhere. I'm not aware that she was leaving the house, neither did she tell me. And moreover, I was very busy before you people got here. So, you take your time, stay as long as you want to while I go upstairs and finish what I need to do. If you want to go without me, you know your way home. Thank you very much. Hey! Look at you. This is strange. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Must start talking now. If I get home and she did not say anything, Papa, she will see the other side of me. Hey! What kind of thing is this? Mm.
Yes, I saw them. But you didn't tell them you see me there. It's better now so that when they get home, they will inquire from their daughter. But you said you love me. Of course, my daughter, very much. But you refuse to tell me what made you and what made mommy to leave you. Don't worry, my daughter. I will tell you all the time, okay? Just okay. take it easy on me, I will tell you. She's inside. My husband. Mm. How did the people go? What did I... the, the husband said she did to, to him? Up to now, nobody knows anything about what happened. The husband said I should go back to my daughter and ask her. What's that? I didn't see her inside. Where is she? She was there a while ago. Maybe check her the back here. Check her the back here. Hey! Come and pack your things. Let me take you to your husband's house now. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Chinasa, let me tell you. I will use force on you if that is what you want. Now, yeah, I'm not your mate. Oh. I am not your mate at all. I'm your elder sister. Respect yourself. Oh. That is the reason why I said, come, let me drive you. I will be the one that will drive you to your matrimonial home. Simple. I am not going back there. I can't go back there. If you were the one, would you go back? What are you telling me? I don't get it. How do you mean? I thought you told you people everything that happened. He didn't tell us anything. He said we should go and ask you what happened. That he didn't send you out. I'm not going back there. Uh, 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 how do you mean, Chinasa? I will talk. I will talk. You will talk? I will talk. Okay. Tell me. What happened? I thought... I didn't know. I was afraid. Talk to me. I... I didn't know the way. I didn't know the way. I don't know. I don't know how that thing happened. His sister was supposed to wear the following day. Was supposed to be in Abuja that day when it happened. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Huh? Hey, what is this? Honey. Honey, please come now. It's Abuja we're going to. Not your father's house. Sorry, 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 I don't want my phone. Women, eh? you are, you're always My mother, everybody. Huh? Sorry. Station. I'll just 
looking for somewhere nearby and pull over and see whether they will pass. We are pulled over now. Let's wait here. At least let's be sure they've passed really well. Hey, 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 Jesus! Hey, Jesus! Hey! I swear to God, if you move out, no, 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 please, 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 so you think you're smart, right? No, 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 eh? no, no, no. You guys want to escape from us? No, no, no. Come on, go down on your knees. Hey! I'm, I'm, I'm lying down. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm lying down. I'm lying down. I'm lying down. Sorry. Where's the money? No, no, we don't have any money. We're going for a it's wedding. It's true. We don't have money. Yeah. We're going for a wedding. Hey! Shut up. Did I ask you? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. forgive her. Forgive her. In fact, see, you. Take this girl and shoot her now. Hey. You see? Let this go and shoot her now. Sir, no, no, no I, ca I can't do that. My brother. She, she's, she, she's my wife. Yeah, he's the keeper of us. <laughs> oh, oh, so you don't want me to kill you, eh? No, no, please don't kill me. Okay, <laughs> now, you take this gun and kill him now. Hey. Do that fast. Hey, my brother. Take this gun. My, you're my brother now. He's my husband. How can I kill yes, my husband? How can you tell me to kill my we husband? We are now brothers, right? Yes, please. Okay, fine. Uh, if we are your brothers, then take the gun and do it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know you. No, no. Hey, what, I don't know you. Huh? Now shoot him. Huh? Kill him. Take this gun. Oh. Take this gun and I do it. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Shoot. One. Eh? One. My brother. Shoot him. Please, please. Shoot, shoot him. Hey. One. Please. One, two. Ah. Two. Ah. Ah. Oh. Uh, what to go? Please, uh, give me my gun. Give me my gun. Guy, guy, one minute.
how am I supposed to do it? How can I go back to that house and live with the same man I wanted to kill? The same man I almost killed? How? So that brings me to ask, what brings you to my house? Yes, you're right. There's a saying that uh, when you smack a child with your left hand, you bring the child back with your right hand. Nathaniel, please, I will advise you retreat from this direction you choose to trade. Because there seems not to be any road there. No, that is even where there is clear vision. The road there is clear. See, when a man stokes a fire, that same man knows the best time to quench that fire. And I am telling you that now is the best time to quench this fire that we ignited. No, forget what you see in the movies. Those days of Romeo and Juliet and all that, forget it, my brother. Huh? It does not exist anymore. Says who? Says who? No. There's true love. True love. Are you now telling me that there is no amount of hatred or love that will make you kill your wife? Me? Martin, kill my wife? I can never. Let's take for instance, Ambrobel's besieged your heart. At gunpoint, look at you, look at your wife. Guy, take the gun. Shoot your wife or they will kill you. Won't you kill them? Won't you oh, shoot her? I will never shoot my wife. Uh, never. Uh, yes. If it were to be your wife, are you sure she will not shoot you? The same way I will not shoot my wife is the same way my wife will not shoot me. Instead, they will kill both of us that day. <laughs> What? Ah, uh, now nah, I know you're a baby lover. You don't know what life is all about. Do you know that these women that will marry these days, these people that we call wives, are not our friends? The only friend that you have that is a woman is your mother or your daughter. Even mother is suspicious somehow. But let's take it to be that. They are waiting for a day they will hear that what? you are dead. They will now sit down as queens and princesses begin to possess their husband's property. Buildings, houses, everything and begin to live large. Don't my, you think so? Minus my wife. Ah. Welcome. I can bet you if you want. Bet me. Ah, are you daring me? Daring me, bet me. Let's drink, Joe. Baban, we're trying to drink for us. 
No, no, don't, don't tell me that, please. I don't, what, what are you talking about? My friend, what listen. Nonsense? I don't know listen, what. Listen, what? you easily get offended. That's Why would I? Friend. See, eh? uh -huh. I tell you that you do not trust any man, any woman, not even your wife, your brother or sister, because they will all disappoint you. You put only your trust in God because it's only God that will not disappoint you. I agree with you. But that you made a wrong choice in a woman that you got married does not give you the right to talk about ill about other women like that. I am not saying anything. I'm just telling you the truth. If you want, if you doubt me, let's go into a bet. For, for what? One million naira. I will arrange armed robbers that will intercept you guys. And I tell you that your wife will pull a trigger on you. Even when you are too sure that you will not pull at her, she will. I'll bet two million, two million naira. My wife will not pull it to them. Okay. So we'll bet. Two million naira. So that's it. Yes, no problem. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, you don't know women. You don't know women. Move yourself from there. Don't place. worry, move. Don't worry, we'll soon do it very soon. I've been waiting for when are we going to try our best? Oh, anytime my guy. Anytime you guys are ready, I'm ready. Anytime? Yes. So what you're telling me now is that I should get the boys ready. Then you're going to tell us when it is convenient for you and where we are going to strike. You know what? I see you're very desperate. To see these boys shoot me and claim accidental discharge. Is that don't, it? Don't say that because what you're saying now is to me, you don't want me to eat your money. You're trying to find a way to run away. Far be it. If there's anything that I'm doing, it's just that I'm being cautious, that's it. No, the only thing I've just found out is that you trust your wife more than you trust me, your best friend. But that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it ought to be more like it. But every day. We sit down here, drink, you leave your drink open, go out, eat yourself or whatever, I still come back and take your drink. Okay. Yet! Okay, let me not right now. Is it by covering it? If I wanted to kill you, I would have killed you now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now tell me. Nat, what is your point? Just hit it. My point is you do not put your trust in a man. Whether your wife, your best friend, because they will actually disappoint you. The only person you put your trust in is God, because it's only God that cannot disappoint you. Okay, I, I agree with you. In the issue of God, I'm not going to contest that. But as for that of my wife, eh? I'll beat you hands down. I'm standing up waiting for you for it. You're sure? Yes. We shall see very soon. You mouth agape. I am standing. I am standing up for you, man. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -mm. I don't want that now. Mm -mm. I don't like alcohol. That one you put there, you take it by yourself. But just a little. Mm -mm. Make me will suit your sister. No. Be romantic for once. Leave romance out of the drink. Uh -huh. I'm not romantic. How are we going to Abuja? That's the most important one. Is it by road or by air? Which would you prefer? By air. Uh, okay, I don't have a problem with it, but what's of, what will happen when we land in Abuja? How do we move? Airport taxi now. The airport taxi will stay with us for as long as we're in Abuja, then take us back to the airport and we'll come back. You have a point, but left for me, what I had planned to do was to drive my beautiful wife all the way to Abuja. It's been long we had that kind of long trip together. I don't want road trip. Not only that. I don't want road trip. I don't understand. Just listen I to me. I don't want road trip. Listen to me, darling. You know it's been long we've been together on a trip. Like this one, we'll stop wherever we want, shop, eat, lodge into, check into hotel. The next morning we can start traveling again. We just buy things on the road, you know, like that. You know it's when you talk about shopping, you'll get me. You just want us to go by road. Okay, we'll go by road. Now, see and I'll buy my dry fish and all of that. No problem. See another thing that I've planned for this trip. Yeah. Yeah. I've mapped out some good money. Are you serious? That I'm going to review to you where it came from that night. And what do I plan to do with that money? Take you around Abuja for shopping spree. You see? Anywhere you want, anything you want to buy. You're using this shopping now to get me to go by road with you. 
It's not like I'm bribing you. That's bribery. It's not. Bribery and corruption. No, trust me. I am doing this from the quantum of the love that I have for you. A love. <laughs> you don't love it. Ah, but it's, I am very sick. But you, you know, know how to get me. I am just mentioned set. shopping now for me to go by road with you. Roger, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Love it too. But you know this thing would have been nice if no, you take it. No, thank you. So that we'll it won't, wo it won't work. Thank you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you don't mean it. Don't be smart, sir. The wife just pulled the trigger and the man fainted. But he just, I don't, I don't just get it. I told him. <laughs> I told him that you do not trust these women. They will always be telling you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Back up, nothing. When a push comes to shove, they abandon you and God together. I told him, he said it's two million naira. Yeah? I will eat it. The two million naira. I will eat it. I will not pity him. <clears throat> Boss, my dear, enter now. Double it. Papa, did you cancel your trip? Why are you not in Abuja? I changed my mind. I wasn't in the mood anymore. Why? What do you mean, why? Why would you change your mind? So, I mean, is it like you do not know that what happened today would have been a big lesson to me? What has that got to do with your sister? Your sister is having an important event that she needs you tomorrow in Abuja. Look, you will destabilize her. If she finds you in Abuja tomorrow, you are not there. You are going to cripple her mind emotionally. You know how women behave. That's how you feel. But for me, Martin, the only thing that is my concern right now is to chill down here, have enough drink, unwind myself, relax, and feel easy, then I can go home and sleep. Listen, take my advice. Hmm? Go to Abuja. When you get back, we will sit down and talk about everything that happened. Trust me. Sleep in your bed. Lover boy. What's the name of that? Lover boy. Nah. It's not funny. Get out. So drink alcohol. You decrease. Drink alcohol, Jerry. Did that tell you? Now it's two million that I got. <laughs> you must bring your wife back home today. She's no longer my wife. You know, you disappoint me. You shock me whenever you open your mouth to say a thing like this. This was the same thing I was telling you the other time. You refused to listen to me. And now I am giving you that same advice. Jettison whatever happened. What happened is not enough reason for you to break your long age marriage. She's no longer worthy to be called my wife. That's the point. Are you worthy to be called her husband? Excuse me? Mm, that business was. Hey! God. Now, what did you do? Of course not. I mean, business is something that I understand very well. Good. No wonder. Do you know, eh? Now I realized that some people were born. Bye. And others were created. But very few were created. Say your mind. Do you want her? Listen, I can go talk to her for you. Talk. Listen, do you want her? No, 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 listen. I'm not doubting that you can talk to her because I know that you are an expert in women affairs. Uh, but please don't don't get no, don't tell her anything, please. I'm not No, I mean it all. Leave all this hard man stuff. I can go and talk to her for you. 
You know I'm a responsible married man with kids. You are the only married man. Me, I'm not married. Baby. Oh, baby, you are looking lovely. You are sumptuous. Can I have a seat? Thank you. Of course. Oh, baby. Hi. Ah. Your voice is so lovely. Which of the planets did you just, uh, you know, emanate from? <laughs> well, my name is Nathaniel. Nat for short. My name is Go. It's a pleasure meeting you. Go. <laughs> Do you know what gold is like? You are gold indeed. <laughs> See, my friend. Martins. Matt for short. CEO, Matt Tech Ventures Limited. Really? I know him. Huh? And I know you too. No, oh, baby, don't tell me you're a girl around town. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what? My friend, we will spoil you with money tonight. Just go. He's so uptight. I want him to loosen up. You know, money is not a problem. Because when we talk about money, cash, we have it in abundance. But just play your game. I hope you understand. Are you serious? Okay. I would like to meet him tomorrow. <laughs> Told you. Who doesn't know you around town? Everybody knows you in the in this city. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and I love this your best. Hey. Fine man with plenty money. <laughs> and you know what? I will just go up there and get a room for the two of us. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's don't worry. I mean. Both of us will spend the night together. Don't worry, I am not asking you for any cash. I'll just go to the reception and get a room. And I'll make you happy. Trust me. <laughs> Give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Don't you like it? She's been talking your best and you're busy your eyes like like an early bed. Are you mad? That's not the show. What do I tell my wife this night? Tell her that you want to sleep with the woman in the hotel. Hey, how can I say so? No, since you? you're a learner, huh? You're a learner. Listen, just tell her that business meeting came up and uh, you went out of town. You cannot come back home. But don't forget that people saw me driving into this hotel. Saw you? Yes. Did they see you with a woman? You drove in, I drove in, isn't it? We came for a meeting generally, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. So tell her that uh, the meeting lasted and all that it was late, that you were out of time, you cannot come back. Well, I'm not here, enjoy ourselves. Listen, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call one of my girls. She will get another of her girl. So that we can be, you understand? Can one go there because. Hey! You have, you've not done it before. Three, four, five. Better. So we can. Try why? When you finish with one, you're tired. Immediately you see the next one, boom, you come up again. <laughs> you are go. <laughs> you be like a lion. You would never be tired. By the time you see them separately. Martin. Yes. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in room 306. Baby, he's coming. He will be there straight. <laughs> Don't keep baby waiting. No, 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 never. Hmm? No, no, never. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Tell you later. <laughs> If you're tired, call me. We'll do it together. I'll give you my own credit card. You understand? It is better when you do it for some, find some. Nice. Yes. Hello, Martins. Anim. Martins, do you know what the time is? Where are you? Why? I keep, I keep telling you that hanging out with those friends of yours is really, really bad. Where are you? You have all day to do whatever it is you want to do with them. Why, why choose the night? I, I actually wanted to call you now before you call. Please forgive me. Eh? And moreover, to tell you too that I, I won't be able to. We'll come home tonight. What does that mean? It's nothing. It's just our rotary meeting. Oh. Yes, we're having the meeting right now. Even Nathaniel, Ibe, Akajak, everybody, we're all here. And it's like it's going to end around 2 a.m. And, and you chose to tell me now. What if I didn't call? I, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I, it's not intentional. It just escaped me. I wanted to just call you now, now, now before you called. Where's the venue? Same place where we normally have our, our retreat meeting. Your normal venue. Okay. Please, as soon as you're done with your meeting, go straight to your room. Please, don't hang out with your friends. No after party, nothing. Just go straight to the room, sleep. Okay? Huh? Don't you trust your husband? I trust you and I love you. Please, just go straight to your room, okay? Yeah. I love you too, so much. I love you even more, yeah? Good night. Bye. Martins. Are you alright? Yes, yes, yes. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, Nat. Ah! I go. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying yourself. Wait, wait, wait. It's not about enjoyment. Listen and listen attentively. In case my wife calls. Eh? Yes. Just tell her. Don't forget to. Tell her that we are in our rotary meeting that is happening now. That me, you, Ibe, Akajak, everybody that were all here. And that it will end about 2 a.m. 2 a.m., don't forget to. Hey! Agu, agu. <laughs> we will, and another thing, eh? Call the others, call Ibe, Akajak, and all of them. Tell them that in case my wife calls, they should tell the communicator with the same message too. Uh, don't worry, don't have any problem. See, welcome to the league. Eh? Get out. <laughs> Madman. <laughs> um, um, I go, listen, listen, listen. No. <laughs> I beg, I beg, you are distracted. Okay, bye bye, later, later. <laughs> Who is it? Hello? 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 Baby. Still stand down, is it, you know? <laughs> Come over here. I 
the, the, the entire incident last night it was just like a dream to me. Stupid dream for that matter. How did I end up here? I don't know. The only thing is that I just got drunk and started misbehaving. Hey man, easy. You see, very soon you get used to it. God forbid. You have entered the league of enjoyment. God forbid, Barton. I will never again shit on my wife. Do you know what this means to me? I went and bought regret, pains and heartache with my hard earned money. What, 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 was, what was I even thinking of? I don't know. Listen, you see this thing? You see that it would never happen again. You didn't see me here, I never got to this place. I'm not involved anymore. I'm going home. Now that I know you're shameless. Did you not enjoy it? Hey, listen, very soon you get used to it. This is sweet. You cheated your wife. So? With harems of girlfriends. Did you tell her no? You didn't. Does that make you a good husband? No. So why now are you saying that your wife is not worthy to be called your wife just because of a mess setup? This is deeper than setup. This has something to do with me, my person, my integrity. My life was brought to nothing. If I could stand at a gap for my wife, my wife has no moral justification to pull a gun to my face. Not to talk about clicking the trigger. Listen, she has lost it entirely. Now I know you are totally insane. Did you not cheat your wife? No, answer. Holy Martins. Didn't you cheat on her? What is different again? No, what is different? Don't make me angry because if I open my mouth and tell her what we did, you, you'll be hiding your face in shame. If you don't tell her, then shame on you. What else can we do? What else than to send her back to her husband's house? Mama, I'm not going back to that house. I can't go back to that house. Meaning what? You want to stay back in your father's house so that our family will become a laughing stock, right? Mm. I am not going back to that house. Please, don't make me go back to that house. Tori, you must go back there. Okay, Chuba. Please, let her be. Papa, let her be. Are you the one saying that? Okay, let her be. Delicate issues like this require the wisdom of the Asians. And um, we don't take rash decisions on cause of pursuing such issues. Hmm? Yeah. Feelings. At all is not well, my brother and his wife. Why will you say a thing like that? After the wedding incident, Auntie Chinasa has not been picking my calls. And when I tried to call my brother to ask about his wife, he acts different. Hmm? Telling me that all is not well. Hello? You've forgotten he said there was a robbery attack on their way coming. Exactly my point. Look at that story. That story sounds good though. Nothing of such happened. I believe that they didn't come for our wedding because of the issue in their marriage. And I believe Auntie Chinasa Sam was packed out of the house. No, honey. <laughs> You don't have to say a thing like that. Even if, even if they're having issues, is I don't think it has gotten to she packing out of the house. Hmm?
Hello? Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Chijoke. Joke. Your new in-law, the farmer's husband, sir. Oh, my in-law, how are you tonight? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> how is the family, sir? We are fine. And how is my sister? Your sister? She's bouncing, looking beautiful. More than the way you, <laughs> more than the way she, she wore. How is she? <laughs> I trust you, my in-law. Thank you very much. Hey, sir. Uh, sir, is, is your wife there? Please, can I say hi to her, sir? Uh, no, she's not here right now. Um, yeah, I mean, can I speak to her? Uh, 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 sir, please don't see it as if I'm, I'm ordering you around, sir. It's just that uh, I don't know if she's upstairs. You, you. Help me give her phone so that I can say hi to her. Tell my sister to give you her number so that you can call her directly. Oh, yes, sir. My wife, my wife has been complaining the same thing that she, she she has been calling her and your wife is not picking her calls. That's why I said I don't know if you don't mind. I I talk to her through your phone, sir. Please. My in-law, you know what, eh? Um, just uh, understand that my wife is not here right now. Then you can call her later through the number my sister will give to you. Eh? Have a good night. Bye. Uh, hello? Hello, sir? My in-law. We have had everything and how it happened. And I've come to ask you to please temper justice with mercy and do not allow this very unfortunate condition or situation to make you out of anger, destroy everything you have taken time to work in my family. Please. Yes, my in if not for you, I wouldn't know where I would have been right now. You gave me reason to live again. You set me up in business when all hope was lost. And today, um, I'm doing pretty well. Please, my in-law. If you send her packing just like that, what will people say of you? Oh, it will appear as if you, you let down an edifice you took time to put to structure. Please, my lord, I want you to also note one thing. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. My daughter China Sao wouldn't want you dead. Not for any reason. I can vouch for her. Everything was done out of fear. That was the height of fear. And being a woman, she was only being a woman at that moment. That point in time, please. My lord, you're welcome. I've heard all you people have said. But I want to make something clear. You know very well that I'm not a child. I'm not a child to the extent that I cannot differentiate between black and white. And this issue that you people are talking about, none of you were there. You're only acting on reported message that you got. I, Odogo Martin, is the one that was involved in it. And because I understand it very well, I want it to be made clear to both of you and tell her, I do not want to see her anywhere close to my house again, ever. And if I see her, if I see her close to anywhere I am, I will not be held responsible for my actions. 
Russian bot she will be. Hey. I don't know. Please. Don't put us with mercy. You go. I beg you. I'll be in my room. When you're done, you can leave. My room. Welcome. Hey! Okay, Joe. Yeah, guys, I never go to They are jealous because my daughter got married to a wealthy man. They've done their worst. They've done everything. But they have failed. They have failed and will continue failing. This is not normal. At all. It's not ordinary. Our enemies are at work. Evil men, they are at work. It's alright. Uh, can dodge up. What do you this? Uh, lamentations will not happen. I believe that with time, my in-laws' rot will subside. And he will go back to be the good man which he had been. But then, we will repeat this visit. We will repeat again. Hey. Daddy, I'm sick and tired of staying in this house. I'm going back to school tomorrow. I mind you that if I step my feet out of this house, I'm not coming back again or it's mom returns. I don't care what the problem is. All I know is that mom cannot just leave us like that. I was there for you. I did all for love. Martins, I warned you. I warned you not to trust those guys you call your friends, but you didn't listen. You chose to trust them. You turned your back on me. You didn't trust me, the woman you called your wife. 